and then this new tier of forty dollars a month has, has come out so uh yeah it's people aren't happy so if people are jumping from sort of vs code copilot to to cursor or a and other what, what's yeah they're all obviously based on the the vs code code base because they're, they're still using the same underlying ide you know it's how they're yep. keeping the friendly you know jump a around what's um what what will people be missing out if they if they have decided right i've had enough of copilot i'm jumping over to cursor yeah, what, what, what's what's the benefits? What are the losses? Well, like you said, right, it's, it's a very familiar ground. They're going to open up Cursor. They'll still be, have their extensions and it will work simply, the, you know, quite the same keyboard shortcuts, the lot, right? But you do lose the Microsoft features, you know, like uh, Pylance, for example, for Python. You know, you can't install that in anything but VS Code. Um, you know, Azure extensions, you know, the, these are, need to be installed in VS Code. So if you're in quite a Microsoft ecosystem as a developer, you're going to find it very difficult to transfer over to Cursor.